Welcome back guys, uh, weekly market outlook today here from Singapore. Hope you guys uh, can hear me all right. Let me know if the audio connection works. Let me quickly check on this one. Yeah, camera and that works out in the background here. Lion City, some big uh, office skyscraper buildings here behind me. What's up this week? Well, we have uh, interesting news. Uh, there is uh, something brewing in uh, China. Whether this is going to be something positive is what we have to find out at some point here. However, when looking at it from that perspective, we get information that uh, the Chinese are seemingly scrapping the um, a press briefing. There's something interesting as in regards to that news, there was uh, obviously an information uh, being uh, presented in a general and that information uh, basically just in regards to on how the um, government is likely going to uh, tackle the uh, issue in uh, the basic economic development. The uh, economic momentum has not done anything much. The economic slowdown is uh, obviously the bigger uh, part of what we see here. And uh, with that, obviously, I kind of uh, we will find out uh, potentially further what is going to happen. And our press conference is uh, obviously something uh, interesting to uh, get the public to know about what's happening, whether and what the reason might be could be something interesting as uh, there's potential momentum happening and uh, unfolding. Looking at stock markets, we get the information that the S&P 500 is uh, starting to uh, kind of run through the roof somehow further. This week, uh, the market's momentum has been extremely positive. So the market's uh, running to the upside daily chart pointing to higher price points, weekly chart, as well as obviously the monthly charts are uh, offering uh, upside motivation to potentially a uh, kind of continue. However, what we can observe when looking at it from this uh, current perspective, when we take the relative strength indication here into consideration, yes, based on what we've seen end of 2021, January 2022, that prices were rising. However, on the flip side, that basically the market's momentum in regards to the recent uh, appreciation has not offered much uh, of a positive market environment as obviously the market's momentum here in regards to the relative strength index has just uh, not given us uh, a quite strong momentum uh, to begin with. Whether this is going to kind of uh, cause the rally to end or to be kind of over soon, we might not be uh, able to say, obviously, looking at it from this perspective, when the NASDAQ or what the NASDAQ is concerned, uh, we would get the 18,500 whatsoever next uh, reliant of resistance potentially causing market momentum to be a kind of uh, a bit shaky. But let's see. Currently, the market is uh, or the markets in general are utterly positive. Uh, the uh, Dow Jones is a bit uh, on a sideways momentum here. It's not really giving us a, a strong motivation higher. And so is the German, the DAX, uh, obviously, as well, kind of uh, being a bit uh, slightly on shaky ground here uh, as we speak. So if you have any questions, let me know. Please uh, get them in here, kick them in, and we get uh, obviously kind of going with uh, potential further momentum here in the market in obviously our analysis. The recent um, and uh, current strong momentum in uh, the euro might be also behind recent moves. Not only do we see is uh, the German DAX running higher similarly to the US indices as well. The euro has been gearing up momentum and now we can see that this market is just obviously kind of uh, trending beyond the resistance area. Two weeks ago, a strong push higher. We stopped at around the 50 moving average. The market celebrated a bit of a sideways price pattern here with this little doji candle. Now this week, fresh week, we see the market is uh, up and running and potentially continuing higher. Whether now our sell stop order is in a good situation, we shall see. However, if the market uh, will resume its uh, bit of uh, downside motivation, we could say that there is a potential momentum motivation for this market to weaken somehow further. So downside momentum uh, in this case here might be something worth uh, taking into consideration downside momentum here 
in the market basically uh, kind of uh, stopping from rising however at the moment it looks like daily chart positive weekly chart positive as well as the monthly chart and now there we go we have this zigzag pattern whether the zigzag pattern is now basically telling us that upside potential might continue i might say hey with this support zone it looks potentially positive that the market is going to continue back to the upside then the next resistance area would be the one the 10 area and uh, with that obviously let's zoom in a little bit here we could see that there is a some strong resistance line uh, coming up at some point soon with that obviously upside motivation could be due to continue and uh, this upside motivation is just simply what causes the market potentially to be positively behaving daily chart resistance zone here 50 moving average is obviously causing some slight resistance potentially weekly chart looking positive however what goes up on monday might be a bit shaky during the following days of the week here so let's observe how the market momentum goes and uh, let's observe how we can potentially observe further positivity here to begin with in the euro basically in this market the pound positively behaving as well kind of uh, running through the 50 moving average that looks kind of good as well and now back to the australian dollar also the aussie is finding some sort of support here pin bar candle pin bar pin bar yes and there could be an upside motivation brewing and let's just do this one here not sell limit but uh, we want to apply a buy stop order here and uh, this buy stop order should have a stop loss down at the bottom 65 uh, sorry six what is it 64 20 65 20 65 15 uh, 0 65 15 and upside next target 66 80 root 66 80 uh, is uh, the potential next zone where the market might celebrate a bit of a resistance area this is at least based on longer term market approach uh, opportunities should uh, equities continue with the upside the Australian dollar might also be due to run higher towards uh, higher levels well the dollar against the uh, Japanese yen is also kind of interesting so on the weekly chart the market has uh, uh, corrected last week but uh, not enough to weaken more instead the market started to strengthen somehow and again upside momentum might continue above the high point here there is a opportunity at 150 80 so another push to higher levels might continue up there the um, Japanese yen is kind of something similar we can observe in the euro euro Japanese yen also positively behaving doesn't really look uh, as an entry opportunity here based on the monthly chart however based on the weekly the price is seemingly continuing uh, to the upside here and uh, upside momentum looking positively behaving similarly to what we can observe on the daily chart so upside motivation extremely good and uh, upside motivation here in this market uh, obviously kind of uh, starting to perform its positive uh, momentum as well speaking of uh, the dollar weakness obviously precious metals are pretty much reactive and that was a strong move we talked about it not that uh, we saw this market exploding sharply on Friday last week but uh, what we said in the uh, middle of last week should the 50 moving average be uh, basically uh, kind of uh, broken through to the upside we could see this market basically moving higher we have seen a couple of uh, resistance zone being taken out which is kind of quite interesting here this zone this next zone and now the market is potentially moving towards the next higher level which would be here the 2110 area next resistance area which uh, is going to be potentially tested anytime soon and on the uh, daily chart looking at the 50 moving average resistance area based in silver that's the market right now we could see that silver also kind of broke through and towards the upside here market higher now at the next resistance area 
pretty much a strong sharp area here and uh, we have the same story in silver it's just potentially a matter of time that the market might uh, run higher and take out one or the later uh, one or the higher resistance areas or one of the or the higher price ranges as uh, the silver market based on the weekly has seen a strong support and i like the area actually so this zone looks uh, kind of quite positively behaving pin bar pin bar pin boom and last week again a push higher and now next zone if the price of uh, 2340 can be taken out here then we might be on track towards rising prices silver obviously kind of positively behaving just based on the weakness of the dollar of the greenback as it's called as well and uh, opec has stated was it one bill one million two million ooh, two million two million barrels a day so um the shortened uh, shortened oil output uh, based on agreements from opec plus is going to be extended through the current uh, second quarter and um, end of june so far this one is going to expire obviously the saudis are still a big push or pushing country for that matter russia also stated that they are going to uh, do the same russia stating and promised that basically their role to focus more on uh, cuts uh, production cuts uh, is uh, and are going to be on to remain in place so the story is likely going to be unfolded here based on the recent movement and based on what we can observe here so technically the recent uh, technical price patterns 70 Eight. There was a, a kind of quite interesting, it was a volatile market on Wednesday, pin bar candle Thursday, the market looked like it would start to fade back to the downside. But on Friday, we saw most of the assets, the euro stronger, right? Gold up, silver higher, oil prices to the upside, equities to the upside. So dollar weakness supporting the current moves and they are likely if there is a sort of likelihood at least likely going to continue based on the recent price targets and price patterns so upside momentum could continue and causes the market momentum to be positively behaving that should should technically also support the canadian dollar the euro card is not doing anything much at the moment but uh, we are at uh, a bit of a resistance area which uh, should be taken into consideration here so that zone if it holds might uh, cause the markets to weaken somehow the euro obviously starting to appreciate or the euro continuing to appreciate somehow further right now why just uh, simply the one reason basically the euro is stronger against the us dollar as well as other currencies the canadian dollar gearing up a bit of momentum let's uh, have a look on the canadian dollar or the us dollar against the canadian dollar and we can see that this market is well slightly higher so the canadian dollar is somehow weaker but with recent weakness we can see there might be another market motivation happening anytime soon well dollar cuts broken through the 50 moving average here so whether this is going to kind of cause the markets to strengthen is the key question here right now we are trading above the 50 moving average also based on the uh, uh, weekly as well as the longer term monthly chart but uh, the market's correction might continue at some point causing potentially this market uh, environment here to weaken again anytime soon should oil remain stronger and then the canadian dollar could gear up some sort of momentum later on uh, as well cryptos are positively as well so we can see the markets are like all in a huge run towards uh, rewards in a way basically the surge of return for investors seems to continue we traded at 42,000 there about uh, basically a bit more than uh, a month ago now we are trading at 61,000 so 20,000 uh, uh, 20,000 uh, dollars uh, basically of an increase in value here based on bitcoin and all the markets are similarly behaving ether uh, really pushing hard to the upside should this area be 
kind of uh, uh, basically broken as well to the upside. We could see that this market goes uh, it will go towards the 4,300 level anytime soon. So all the markets are pretty much alike. And the question is, and that's uh, basically what we've gotten as well in regards to Bloomberg news here, uh, according to some sort of statements in stock markets, several of the banks, and now talking about Bank of America, having joined the camp as well. Savita Subramanian, the uh, strategist, equity strategist uh, for the lender, stating that bull markets end with euphoria, but we are not there yet. They have raised their target towards uh, 5,400 points. 5,400 points for the S&P 500 would still uh, be giving this index just another couple of uh, hundred uh, uh, potential uh, points uh, to the upside here. Another 5% uh, increase is at least uh, the forecast uh, of what the bank is concerned. Guys, with that, I'd like to release you. We have uh, a couple of news events uh, this week. We have interest rate in Canada. That decision is coming up in mid of the week, we have the European Central Bank on Thursday and we have non-farm payrolls on Friday. Stay tuned, everyone. See you later. Bye-bye.